Welcome to Wiggle My Legs. This is the Whirlpool WTW5000DW0. And I guess the washer plate doesn't come out very easily in a lot of these. <clears throat> so I where did they go? I used some Allen wrenches with my vice grips and I, I squeezed this so tight. Well, first I just did it normally. I pinched it really tight. I thought it would be good with one hand. And then I hook it in. And there's something to pull with. I can get around the nose of the vice grip. And another one on the other side, but I've got camera in my hand, so I can't show you that. So then, when I was pulling, all of a sudden the vice grip let go of the Allen wrench. <clears throat> and got a little scuffed up on the elbow here on the sheet metal. So be careful if you ever try something like this. And wear safety goggles, because it re really comes flying off there. So now I have put this on so tight with two hands, I don't know if it'll hold yet, but here's the other one. So <clears throat> I need to get ready. So what I'll do is use a tourniquet method rather than trying to pull it up with strength and get injured. So I protect the paint, and this is the idea, if I can, sorry, Get this here, I'd rather have it up here, but it's wobbly, so it fits in there, this other one fits in here, if you take this plastic, uh, where'd it go? snap out your drain tray here and uh, it's for bleach and fabric softener I guess but <clears throat> snap that out so you don't break it and we just have the metal and hopefully it'll hold up and then we have a nice long piece to put across here and I will put the Allen wrenches in the holes and either get rope. I have this rope, but nylon stretches so much. I don't want to use nylon. I'll be spinning forever. But if I get the Allen wrenches in, probably find some wire or if I had cable and then tie the wire around the nose of each vice grip, bring it up over this board and down to the other vice grip and tie it around the nose of that vice grip and then turn this and as it twists it should create quite a bit of pressure and this tub will probably lift two inches or so up to the sheet metal or an inch whatever it is so I'm gonna get some wire see if I can bring this up so here it goes I found this steel cable it's a plastic coated steel cable <clears throat> And I bought it for my tree pruner. The pulleys wore out the cotton rope on the tree pruner, so I was going to switch to cable. But I have a lot of it, about 10 feet extra. So I cut off a piece with a hacksaw and tied it on in front of the nose of each vice grip. And we'll see what happens. Hmm. 
Let's see, we want to stay hooked in. Because they're so far apart. Let's see if I can mount my camera. I have eye protection on. Building up some tension here. Spin the middle one, obviously. Make sure your wood stay on. Just about play bass. Should be turning this with a long board. So maybe I can find one. Okay. This almost one by two here. Do I have two of them? Don't want to get hit in the face with a vice grip or the end of a steel cable. Steel cable. I don't think I have enough up force. It's pulling the vice grips together as the twisting goes down. So I'd need a shorter cable so the twisting happens faster and I would need uh, what I really like to do is drill two opposing holes in the center of the wash plate uh, where it starts to rise up to a post kind of a thing top of the edge there, right on this inside wall in the center. <clears throat> that would give me more upward force instead of sideways force. I guess this isn't going to work. Something moved. About to explode. The wash plate <clears throat> came on a price at a appliance place is a hundred and thirteen dollars, I believe. Looked it up tonight. The washer was five hundred dollars. It came off. How about that? What a deal.